OK, well, we're, we're delighted about this, actually. We do have a very, very special guest in the audience tonight. Please, yeah. Brian Cody is joining us. Uh, Brian, I suppose we're talking to Chad there. What is the mood like in Kilkenny? Would you say you're confident? Oh, for I suppose, you know, Sunday is going to be, you know, a very savage battle. And, you know, look at, I suppose, as, you know, Sir Farrell says in the Sunday game, you know, tactics are tactics and formations are formations. But, you know, Kilkenny are still very much Kilkenny. And, you know, listen, I suppose as Kilkenny manager, you know, I'm going to leave the predictions to the so-called experts. And I suppose just to say that, um, you know... I, uh, uh, <laughs> and Tomás Mulcahy is with us as well. So, Tomás... Uh, you're welcome along. How do you think it'll go? Well, listen, you know, there's no doubt about it, you know. Listen, I think, you know, as, as Brian Cody said there, you know, listen, the Tipperary guys are going to be up against it, you know, listen. But listen, Michael Ryan, you know, he's a shrewd operator. He's been around for a number of years, you know. And I think they're going to be looking to the likes of the Shemmy Cannons, you know, the Bannon Mars and these guys. You'll say it as it is. Overall, people are saying it, it, it was a bit of a disappointing year, really. Uh, yeah, look, I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> as a Corkman involved with Clare, like up here previewing Tip and Kilkenny in the final, I mean, it's my absolute worst nightmare. <laughs> uh, if I had my way, I'd hope both teams lose. <laughs> <laughs> One final thing I want to say. Like, we spoke all year, and I'm going to hold my boy on my left hand like this. <laughs> all year we spoke in a sunny game about style, about fashion, and Des and Grania tonight, I thought she got it spot on. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. for people at home, Grania got her dress to match my tie just on that boat. Naturally. Let's get a, a final word from Joe Brawley. Joe, you call it, maybe. Mm. I mean, of course, Kilkenny are fast becoming, <laughs> you know, the Harlem Globetrotters of the modern game. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, as far as Tipperary are concerned, I mean, resistance is futile. I mean, defeat is inevitable. I mean, Tipperary's formation tomorrow is almost becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. I mean, they're going to become a hostage to fortune. I mean, not one word of what I just said makes sense, but it sounds impressive. <laughs> That means Tipperary and Kilkenny. <laughs> and I would say the only person that understood that was Gráinne. <laughs> a great goal. Now, if I was to make a prediction, I would say Lee McCarthy would ring in the new year. It could be in Tipperary <laughs> or it could be in Kilkenny. <laughs> Now, if I was to call it, I would still say you could never rule out Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. For Emile, Emile Mahathabihil, or should I say Aidan Tierney, isn't he very talented, yeah. ladies and gentlemen? <laughs>